We can choose to see the negative or positive in life. Don't judge a book by its cover. Another popular saying teaches us the importance of seeing with both our physical and spiritual eyes. Our sense of self, whether it's confidence or the lack thereof, is rooted in what we believe. In other words, our personal courage comes from truly seeing who we are and what role we play in the grand scheme of things. Building off the values of connection and creation, courage continues the cycle of self-fulfillment. Being brave requires a firm grasp on both what is and what can be, while finding resolution in choosing the reality we desire most in the present moment. I can't help but think of the fairy tale story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Here was a simple, poor farm boy who saw the great potential in a tiny bean. When that little bean turned into a giant gateway to a bigger world, he didn't cut it down or ignore it. He believed in himself and literally rose to the occasion. He made a better life for himself because he saw what he was and what he could be. Just as important as seeing your food for what it is and where it came from is recognizing its potential to become something even more. A tiny mustard seed grows into a massive tree. Even rotten fruit has a purpose as a breeding ground for life. When you are planning your meals and shopping for items on your grocery list, map out the life cycle of your food. Where does it come from? Why is it here? And where is it going? It doesn't just magically appear on your plate and disappear in the dishwasher or toilet. What role does it play in your life, in the world at large, and how do you fit in? Identify how food can support you in your role and how you can support it in its role.